Hello, everyone, all who are in one body of Christ. Our Savior welcomes us to this day the Lord has given us together. Today, we will be meditating upon, we must trust God's faithfulness in our weakness. Before we start, let's see what Scripture talks about in this topic. He said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weakness, so that Christ's power may rest on me. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse we have just read. Paul was suffering. He had some kind of demolition of chronic illness that he felt was hindering his effectiveness in his ministry. He figured he could be more effective and share the good news with more energy and travel more places if God would take away the problem. Makes sense, right? So Paul pleaded with God. Three times I pleaded with the Lord to take it away from me. But each time, God's answer was no. In fact, God said that his power worked best through Paul's weakness. God's grace was enough to make Paul's ministry effective. We don't like to hear the answer no. We prefer the promises of healing, and God can indeed heal. Nothing is impossible with God. But sometimes, for unknown reasons, God chooses to say no. He says no because he would like to strengthen us in our weakness and make us stronger every day of our lives and bring glory to his name alone. We must bring our weakness to him and let his glory work through us to change our today and tomorrow. Trust on him because he loves us and cares about us. This message also gives us a promise for our day today. The promise is, my gracious favor is all you need. I can use your weakness for my glory. Let's close this time in prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, mighty, wonderful God, you promised, Lord, that your power works best in my weakness. Work in me and through me. I'm thankful that I don't have to be perfect in order to be useful to you. Help me to trust in your strength to serve you and bring glory to your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Have a blessed day, everyone, and if God's will, we will talk to you tomorrow.